Your streaming devices ready? Load them up and press play. It's time to Netflix and chill with Tom and Ruben. Oh, we were off. You want to do it okay. again? We can. Or, no. You want to try and line it up? I think it. I was. It was a little earlier than you. It's okay. I'll fix it in post. I could just okay. make, adjust Perfect. the shit as long as I see. It just the needs to get di- close. Yeah. Yeah. So. All right. Cool. 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 All, All right. right. So. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. I'm still drinking Pendleton. <laughs> yeah, and I'm still drinking water. <laughs> uh, you little bitch. I know. And, you know, it's sh- know. it's funny because I shouldn't be drinking Pendleton. It's uh, I-, I have to work tomorrow, which sucks. Uh, well, I also so, have to work tomorrow, but I'm, yeah, luckily I should my be first... drinking. <laughs> yeah, but then again, you get to s- you could sleep in the train if you wanted to. Yeah, but I got I get up at four before I go and I go to the gym before I go to work. Which just, why? Because I'm a lunatic. I don't know. Yes, yes, you <laughs> absolutely are. I know. The fuck. Dude. I know. Good I know. God. Uh, she tells me the same thing. So. Well, yeah. I will say this though: like, we actually uh, we're packed for our vacation. Which nice. When this comes out, we'll probably no. When this one comes out. Yeah, we'll be back from vacation by back. the time this one comes out. Yeah, yeah, nice. nice. But yeah, we're already packed. It was, uh, you know, or at least ninety percent packed, which is good. So okay, yeah. Well, yeah. dude, yeah, yeah. I always have a hard time packing for vacations. I don't know. I don't ever know. Like, I always feel like I never pack the right shit, and I never pack enough. Like, see, do I that's, need, that's like wh- how much underwear do I need? You know, like, do I need well, a pair for every day? Do I need a plus extra or what? Or do, do not yeah, you never extra. know if you might get drunk and piss your pants or, right. you know, shit you yourself. Never know you never know what's going to happen. happen. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> so luckily we're, st- you know, we're we're going to be staying at the in-laws condo. So there's washer and dryer there. So I'm like four days oh, worth of clothes. That's, dude, that's Wash, the way to rinse, do it, man. repeat. Yeah, I absolutely. seriously think the next vacation we take, I'm gonna do like uh, I'm gonna do a vacation rental or something. I'm gonna do, uh, um, yeah. I'm not like gonna an stay Airbnb in a hotel, or something. like an Airbnb or like a uh, what what is that that other one the um, the vacation time rental share? not the timeshare but like the actual like vacation or rental like you rent stuff somebody's condo yeah, yeah you, like you rent out somebody's condo for yeah. like, whatever. Dude, I think that's the way to go, man. <sighs> Dude, just talk to Chris. You can maybe shit. get his uh, his uh, his Disney timeshare. I yeah well he's not talking to me so no oh, well <laughs> I don't know man <laughs> if he hears this maybe anyway. he if he listens to this which I doubt maybe he can answer right my, answer any of my fucking emails or answer the text I sent him a, a while ago yeah well, there you go Chris but, the gauntlet is thrown yeah well, so anyway whatever. hey you're hey. listening to Netflix and chill <laughs> he's Ruben. <laughs> And and he's Tom. And I'm Tom. You threw me off with that one. I know, I know. Well, I figure you've been fucking me up with the ending, so I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah. fuck with you this time. <laughs> Might as well, shit. So this week, uh, we actually sat down and watched the. Uh, let me see. I'll get the info up here. So you, now that you're gonna get the there is and shit. Yeah, now that we have internet in here in the uh, in the in the hood cave. In the hood cave. So let me pull up IMDb because for whatever reason it disappeared on me. 2009. Our, yeah, 2009 Sam Rockwell joint. Sam um, Rockwell, Kevin Spacey, and some other people that don't matter. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. they were barely in the movie. Like, yes. This this movie, so, all right, if you didn't well, listen watching, to the last Moon, episode. By the way, the name Moon. of the movie is Moon. I don't think we said it yet. Yeah. <laughs> did we not? I thought we I, did. I don't think we did. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> so... <laughs> Yeah, well, what are you gonna do? I'm not drinking, S- and I should know that. <laughs> yeah, I am drinking, and whatever. Uh, so basically, the entire purpose of this movie is like Sam, Sam, who is played by Sam Bell, who's played by Sam Rockwell. Sorry, I muted myself because I was coughing, and that's what professionals okay. do. Oh, um, fair enough. Yeah, because I heard you in my ears because we're talking over the phone. But like, yeah. I was like, God damn, this is gonna be crazy. No, so no. yeah, so Sam. Who I always find it weird when somebody who like an actor who plays like who plays a character who is the same name as themselves. I'm like, yeah, that seems kind of cheap. Like, 
Yeah, it's kind of like a dirty <laughs> trick. Is that just so that you can answer when you're on set? Is that like, is that <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, so, this is see, this. The whole movie is Sam Rockwell. Yeah, um, and it's a it's a total low budget futuristic. Like I'm not going to call it a horror film or a thriller, but it's definitely like it's. I would say it's it's got it it's definitely a drama has some for moments sure. of suspense. It's a drama. It's oh, yeah. got some real moments of suspense. Um, I think thriller. Yeah, thriller is probably not fair to it because as a thriller, I think it fails. But as a drama, right. as a suspense drama, I think it's. I think it's. it's oh, absolutely. Good. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. <clears throat> absolutely. So yeah, basically, yeah. he is like. He's on a three-year mission to go on to the dark side of the moon where he's working as basically to keep machines running because in the in the beginning of the movie they go through this whole thing and they talk about how like we found a mineral or some bullshit on the dark side of the moon that can provide Helium clean three. energy for the world. What's that? Helium 3 is what they were yeah. mining from the moon, yeah. Which basically like gives them the opportunity to um you know, provide clean fuel for the entire world for earth. Yeah. So basically like, and then like they, like he's, he's there and he's just, Hey, you know, going he's crazy on the moon by himself. Yeah. I guess it's a, well, it's a three, you get the, you're told that it's a three, a three year, year mission, contract, three year contract for him to go up and man this, this station on the moon where they have these, machines that yeah go out and mine this helium three or whatever from the moon and the only thing he has up there is this robot that yeah called gertie called gertie which isn't really a robot per se it's more of a of a ai giant computer that runs the whole yeah runs the whole uh the whole space station and that is the voice of uh kevin space kevin spacey i didn't even realize which i would normally be upset that this is like last week or like last episode when when we had the the Johnny Depp thing, I would normally be upset that you took an incredible actor. Look, say what you want about what happened with Kevin Spacey, I get it, I know, but the guy could act his ass off. Oh and yeah. I would I would normally be upset. He was really super rapey, but you know he whatever. He was super rapey and right. I but I I would be upset that you took a phenomenal actor like this and you made him a. A voice, a computer, a, a com- voice, and not yeah, only, yeah, not even just a voice, but you made him a voice of a like emotionless computer. But it was okay because, to be honest, this had nothing. This this was all uh, Sam Rockwell, and he was fucking phenomenal. superb. He yeah. was incredible through the whole movie. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And uh, it was one of these where, like, all of a sudden, you know, there's some issue that happened on one of the space mining rigs or something like that but like you you get to know this character you know and that's the thing that's cool about it because at the beginning he's like he's got long hair he's got this big beard because he's like fuck it i'm on the moon i'm not whatever i'm not grooming i don't care but like where we pick up the story when the movie starts he's got two weeks left on his contract and he's about to go home right and for whatever reason there was some issue with their uh transmission for how they were able to communicate back with earth and for whatever reason they were only allowed there there was you couldn't speak live to the earth right, right. so you would record a message and you would send it off to earth and then they would record a message and send it back to you so well, like, that's what you're told nothing, you don't find out yeah, till yeah. later why that's yeah yeah again we're going to spoil the shit we'll out of this spoil it. so if you haven't right. seen this this is if you haven't seen this there's some twisty shit in this and this is well worth watching i'm just going to spoil my rating on this right now this is worth watching um yeah go go watch this and come back yeah yeah anyway go on yeah so yeah so like so basically like the whole time he's like he's getting messages from his wife and like he's seen his daughter like like go from oh well she was just born till now she's you know she's three or she's four or whatever it is you know, she had just had her birthday and, you know, it's it's one of these where, like, you could tell that this guy is just in anticipation getting ready to go home. He's like, look, man, I've done my job. I've done my time here. I am stoked to go home. You know, my wife and my kid are waiting for me. This is going to be totally awesome. I love it. And then one of the rigs goes down. Right. So he gets in his little, like, moon buggy and goes to the rig 
and the rig like something happens he gets distracted because he's been up on the moon for so long by himself like he's getting like hallucinations and shit like that and he's like he, he thought he saw what i can't remember what he thought he saw he well the whole time the whole time here that we see him from from kind of almost from the beginning of the movie when we start learning about him he's starting to see weird shit right he like he mm-hmm. he sees the he sees the woman sitting in the chair or something by the TV in the yeah, thing, yeah, yeah. or like then there's the point yeah like in the in the when he's in this moon rover trying to go fix this thing he he sees something else and i forget exactly what he sees but again it's the but same thing but it distracts kind of thing. him where it distracts him and he fucks up and he ends up crashing this moon rover and yeah. badly and gets yeah. really fucked up when it happens and then all of a sudden like he's back in the back in the yeah. base camp yeah the next scene you see him he's back in this camp and he's um gertie is working on him and you know he's clearly injured or whatever and gertie is like trying to fix him and doing the whole doctor thing on him and this was a point where you don't really know what's going on yet and right you I'm like watching how did he get going, back to the, the ship did he get like, back okay. to the ship right but it's like well okay maybe the gertie had some fucking rescue thing i don't know maybe, there's a yeah. robot you know there's some protocol that goes who knows you know whatever that's right. that's suspension of disbelief is completely on nine at this point you're like all right fine you somehow he managed <laughs> to get his way back to the thing right. you know it's you know it's a it's a corporation they got this shit figured out they've well, been it's doing possible this at this know? point at yeah. this point you it, it is i i will admit that it went through my head and i was really like what the f- how does this even happen but i didn't i didn't get let it get me crazy because i suppose it's possible that he could have gotten back or somehow right so right. yeah like you said you're not really bugged by it um, no yeah but but yeah so then he's he's there and this was this was still i thought this was this, Sam Rockwell's so good in this because this he's Dude, still he's seeing amazing. Yeah. Cause he's still seeing weird shit. But it's at this point where he starts to wonder like what the hell is really going on? Because yeah. while he's healing, Gertie is actually having a live um conversation with conversation, what's going on, on Earth. Right, with Earth. And he's like, Hey, I thought we were and Gertie says, Oh no, I was just recording something to send down. And he's like, I don't know, this is pretty fucked up, right? And that's when he kind mm-hmm. of sabotages things so he can go outside because they're not letting him outside. Right? Well, yeah, they Isn't wouldn't that... even let him out of sick bay for a while. He wasn't yeah, even yeah. supposed to be leaving yeah. sick bay. They're like, oh, you're, you know, you're not really, you're not really healed up. You really can't go, you know, yada yada yada. Like Gertie was really like trying to keep him in line and like, hey, just stay in sick bay. You know, you're, you had, you, you know, you hit your head and you got a concussion or whatever it is. You really need to just keep off your feet, stay off your feet. Yeah. Yeah. And he, that's where he, like, he cuts a, he cuts a hose or something, right? So that he can actually, like, Gertie has to let him go outside to try and fix something right. or whatever, right? And he ends up getting in the rover and he drives out to where the crash site was and finds his, <laughs> finds his body. This is his he own finds body, a body. Or he finds a body or his body in this moon rover, this crashed moon rover sitting there and this is where things get and this happens early i was yeah. surprised i actually have seen this twice now and the first mm-hmm. time i saw it i was just trying to follow through it but i just watched it again um over the weekend here and it, it, that's where i kind of i really started to think of, like look at it from a different perspective because now that i know what's going on this sure. this happens early Way earlier oh, yeah. than I thought. Within the first like did. thirty to forty five minutes of the movie. Yeah. 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 Way earlier than I thought when when he finds this other body of essentially of himself. Right. Yeah, in the in the in the cab of this accident that happened. And then like he comes in, he brings he he brings the body back because the body it's st- the person is still alive. Like and like he brings it back and he's Gertie, who is this? Who is this person? <laughs> Yeah. And like it's him, and he's all fucked up. And they put him in the sick. They put this other him in the sick bay, and like they're trying to piece it all. Like like Sam Rockwell, number two, I guess the the still breathing and walking upright, the one that like it gets <laughs> Which so one convoluted. Is two? Are Not we calling con- that the the healthy one or the yes the yes, one that healthy was rescued. Sam Rockwell, the healthy Sam yeah, Sam Rockwell. Sam two. 
Sam two that just was like, oh, you're in, you know, Sam one was the one that got into the accident. We'll okay. do it that way. So All Sam right, one was the one way. in the accident. So yeah. Sam two is just like, like, what is going on here? Like, yeah. he's searching for answers and come to find out he's a fucking clone. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and one of them figures it out early and yeah. like is, is walking around basically like, well, yeah, because you're a clone. You know, and it's like, yeah. this This was such a cool, this was where this whole thing got really, really cool. Because the one the one clone, and I think it was the healthier one, I forget, ex- I think it was the healthy one, not the one that crashed, or maybe it was vice right. versa. Um, it was Sam 2, maybe? Yeah, yeah, I think it was Sam 2 that figured out that they were clones, because Sam 1 was still in that whole, like, no, no, I'm going home. Like, I'm going yeah. home, he hadn't figured it out. And I think... This and this, this for me was something that I picked up on the second time I watched this. There is a progression that over three years, this clone goes through to actually start to believe that they're a human being. Oh, I lost you again. God damn it! All right, hold on. We uh, yeah, it's lost like Tom again. All right, so right. we lost you. Yeah, that's okay. I we'll, did not stop. Cre- I did not stop recording. So let's just say either. from here. All right, we'll just okay. keep it going. So, we'll so yeah. So going. so there's this is the thing. So in the second time I watched this, that that uh, that I saw happen was I think there's a progression in this in this clone that happens over three years, where I think the initial clone kind of has this idea that, okay, yeah, I'm a clone or whatever, and maybe isn't fully aware of it, but is kind of aware that, well, yeah, this is how things work. And then it's like over that three-year progression, it seems like maybe they become more human or they become more like more believing. And I don't know if it's because they just get crazier when they're on the moon, but it was that first, because I think it was the healthy one that knew he was the clone, and he wasn't even like bothered by it. He was like, yeah, I'm a, we're both clones, whatever right you know see because i i thought that it was more like you know as the progression of this three-year term goes on like because that's what starts happening with sam number one is like they've got him in the sick bay to heal his wounds and that's all well and good but like his health keeps declining and declining and i think they give these clones these clones have like a three-year shelf life yeah and then they just die because then like there's this whole like idea of a rescue mission Right. But they're coming to save these guys. And I'm wondering if that's to give the clone hope. And by the time the rescue mission gets there, the clone is dead. They pull the old clone out. They put the new clone into the sick bay. Oh, you've just hit your head, Sam. Yeah. Well, they didn't. Well, they don't even. Because remember, didn't they find. They found the whole room full of other yeah. clones that are just waiting. Right. So there's no rescue mission. It's just no. to get. It's like no, you no, said, no. It's the just the right. other ship did show up, though. Remember? Oh, that's Nearing right. The that's end, right. Yeah, the Near other the ship did show up. That's right. And I think that's to clear the body of the clone. Yeah, so that yeah. Clone that you know, Sam number three doesn't find the clone of Sam number two, who never found the clone of Sam number one, or shouldn't have. It, it so, gets, it gets so, it it gets so kind of weird at that point because yeah, you're talking about multiple clones. And it, it seems like, yeah, that, that whole idea of, oh, you hit your head is how they switch out the clones and how they get this right. new clone in to say, oh, yeah, no, you, you hit your head. You're fine, Sam. You know, it's just like, oh, but it's such and, a cool and, idea. Yeah, and implanted memories and stuff mm-hmm. like that, which is kind of crazy. Yeah. You know, and then, like, you know, uh, Sam number one, he's like he and Sam number two get into this badass fist fight. Oh, I know. Like <laughs> nothing like fighting with yourself. And right. it was over nothing. If I'm not mistaken, they it was over really the model over or something. Wasn't it? Wasn't it? Yeah. Over there the, was a the... model that they've been building. He's like, flip the model over. What's going on with the model? How long have you been doing this? He's like, I don't know. You've been doing it. Mm-hmm. And he's like, well, just flip it over. What's, what's the, what's, go, what's underneath it. And that's where the, um, cause he was looking the for the room is. of clones. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So like, but just to see like Sam Rockwell fight with himself, it was just <laughs> totally a like a Fight Club moment. Yeah, you know. Yeah. But like it was just like his acting was superb on this because like he, like I I couldn't you know I to see a guy act because basically it's him 
And yeah. like he has limited interaction with Gertie, who's basically like a HAL 9000, just not nefarious. You know? Yeah. I was so super impressed with Sam Rockwell in this. He was so, so believable. I mean, I was totally engrossed in the character yeah. that he was creating. And actually the two characters that he was creating, because you had these two clones who were really two totally different personalities, even though they were the same person, yeah. the same, the, a clone of the same person, they were two totally different personalities. And it, well, and even the one, uh, the, the, the way the whole fight started, or maybe it wasn't when the fight started or whatever, but I just remember the line when he said, you know, well, think about it. You what you said you remember building the church and you remember building the whatever it was of this model. He's got a model of, like a wooden model of the town of the entire town that he grew up in or something or whatever. And and the guy says, right. well, the one clone says, well, well, all you remember is building the church and this. And he names like two other buildings. And you're looking at a model that's probably got a hundred buildings in it. And he's like, who sure. do you think built the other ones? Who where do you think the other right. ones came from? It were clones. He's like, I don't remember. You. Yeah, he's like, I don't, I don't remember, remember, but I'm sure I built them. He's like, no, they were clones right. before you. They've been building these for years. And it's yeah. like, you're just like, holy shit, this is so... But you really don't uh, know how far back it goes. Right. Like, how right. far they've been doing this. Right. And, like, the video of his daughter that you see, she's probably, like, three, oh. two, maybe three. When he actually and makes... Then like, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I know where you're going. And then, like, <laughs> he actually, like, Sam number one makes a call because they basically knock down one of the the uh disruptors that's not not allowing them to make live transmissions back to the state back yeah. to the to the states back to the earth and they knock down one of the the tra- the blockers so he was actually able to get it out and he calls home yeah and he talks to his daughter and he's like you know what was the wife's name i can't remember what the wife's, I don't remember name, what was. The wife's name was but i tess tess yeah yeah so she he's like is uh is tess home and then his daughter's like, um, no, this is, uh, what, what Eve, Eve, which was daughter. his daughter's name. Yeah. And, uh, he's like, oh, well, is, is Tess available? And she's like, no, Tess died. She's, she's like, basically you found out that like this, this Sam is Sam. Number one is probably like, let's he, see, he's at least 10 years have gone by at, at least the at third least. or fourth. Yeah. Yeah. And then she like turns her like she, she, you don't you don't see her because it's an audio call, but she's like, "Dad, somebody's asking about mom." So the real Sam Bell went back to fucking Earth after three years, well, or however he might not long. Have even ever gone? That's the thing. right. That's the thing that's so. Fucked that, up oh, I never even know. thought about that. He may have never even gone to the moon. They may have just made clones of him and sent his clones. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. chances are, like the 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 wife that we saw on the video could have just been some paid actress. We don't know. Yeah, yeah. Because well, they well, already because they mentioned about mem- memory implantation. Yeah, yeah. It's it was so it, that whole thing was so well done and well pieced together. And when you're and I love when a movie that I love when a movie that deals with whether it's whether it's time travel or this whole like cloning thing or whatever this like when it deals with this real sci-fi type of stuff I love when they fill in the pieces and like everything there's like there's very little here where you could point to and you could say okay look that's not going to happen or that's a big hole this is big this had none of that it there was nothing yeah. in it that was like oh that's that's a big plot hole. He's not going to remember this, or he wouldn't have done this, right. or whatever. It's like no, they, no, they this covered was... all the bases. Yeah, they really unlike did. Transcendence, where the <laughs> plot holes you could fit a VW bug <laughs> right. into. Right, right. And I wonder if so, I wonder if this one was easier to do because it was. I don't know. Want to say it was easier? Not to Transcendence. Do. Well, it wasn't. <laughs> but it wasn't such a huge story. It wasn't such a huge script. No, like, I got the feeling when when we talked about doing this. And like I said, I saw it twice. Um, the first time I saw it, uh, I had actually f- forgotten the name of it when you had mentioned it um, sure. to me. When you mentioned it in a text message, I forgot to to I forgot the name of it. And then when we talked, when I watched it again, I realized this is this could basically have been a Twilight Zone episode. Yeah, like, absolutely. Or like a Black Mirror been, episode. Or a Black Mirror episode. This could have been a twenty to thirty minute Twilight Zone episode. Not saying that it was a lot of fluff and there was unnecessary stuff in it just saying that the story itself isn't isn't super complicated it's not 
Right. Super. So I wonder if that was it made it easier to fill in these, you know, your potential plot holes. But man, this had none of that. This was this no, was it was thoroughly, it was a yeah. good script. Yeah, it was a good script. It was well directed. And anytime like you get an actor that can hold your attention through an entire movie by themselves, by himself. <laughs> you know, yeah, because like looking into IMDb, like apparently Kevin Spacey didn't even sign on to do the movie until after it was done. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. and he liked it, and then he went in and redubbed over whoever was doing the the voice of the uh, mm. uh, Gertie. Interesting. And they said that like he went in there and collected his paycheck for a half a day's work. <laughs> yeah, you know? I mean, and he this was, was a f- irrelevant. Kevin Spacey yeah. was totally irrelevant in the movie. His not he meant nothing. It was a voice, big deal. No, yeah, I mean, like it was just he was just a character that kind of helped drive the plot. Yeah, you yeah. know, I mean, I I don't think the movie would have been the same without the 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 robot there. No, you needed the, the robot. robot, right? But I'm just well, saying because even. Yeah, go ahead. Even the robot, even the robot was deceptive. You yes, know, because well, the robot like, lied you, to you, him and told him, "No, yeah. I wasn't talking to Earth. I was recording something." Yeah, yeah. Which was like, robots don't lie. Like we don't. Well, like when <laughs> when have you ever seen a movie where like the robot lied? Yeah, no, you usually don't. This one, this this robot clearly had um, was more the uh, bottom more line. Human. It was more. It was more, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Although it wasn't like a very, you know, it wasn't a very, how oh, I don't even know, man. But like, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It, it was so good though. God damn it, yeah. Man. The Kevin Spacey thing. It, what I what I was saying with him was, you know, I mean, like I said before, Kevin Spacey is a phenomenal actor, and when I've seen him and stuff, he's great. For sure. And this, he didn't have to be great. He just had to be an emotionless, monotone voice. So right, you know, there was no point to whoever was Gertie. But yes, you needed Gertie, especially because you needed Gertie to kind of sell this idea of, no, Sam, of course you're on a three-year mission. And of course you're, you know, of right. course there's problems with this or problems with the communication with the comm link or whatever. I think they called it a comm link or whatever the heck. The comm link, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Of course there's problems. With, you needed the robot to sell that. So yeah, the robot was definitely an essential character, but it wasn't like... Um, right. It wasn't like it really mattered, like whose voice yeah. it was. <laughs> but, well, the other cool thing about this movie was, even with all the uh, the effect, the the you know the the visual effects and everything, this was only a five million dollar movie. I'm not like surprised. it was a bu- yeah. it was a budget it was a low budget movie, but and apparently it only made it, it like literally made the money back. You know, oh. not necessarily. Yeah, like it, it, it. I, I don't think it was a very wide release for this movie, but, um, but damn, dude, I, like I wish I would have known more about this movie when it had come out because I would have, like, this would definitely be something that I would find myself going to see in the theater. Like this would have been yeah. a great movie to see in the theater, and all the effects, like any time that they were actually out on the moon, it was all practical effects using models. Oh, really. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there was very little CGI in this movie whatsoever. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't know that. I didn't pick up on that. Um, yeah. But, but the the effects and and the you know the moon rover and the moonwalking thing or whatever, they were done at enough of a distance and they were done. Like, they weren't really. I mean, it was. It, it, you didn't watch this. You weren't watching this movie for the effects. This wasn't. No. This this isn't. Uh, you know. Uh, I keep going back to Transformers as my example because honestly, there's no good reason to watch Transformers except for to see things blow up. The, this, right. uh, this isn't Transformers. This isn't Die Hard. You know, when you're not watching this for the action, you're not watching this for the effects. You're watching this for the story. It, yeah. And it, like I said, this could have been, this could have been a Twilight Zone episode, and and Twilight Zone was right. never known for its effects. Right. It was known for the stories it told, and that's what this thing was. And Sam Rockwell, yeah. I can't. Dude, I can't say it enough, man. He just sold. He he was so engrossing to watch on the on the on yeah on screen, man. It was just great. Yeah, this was yeah, a really he good was, movie. You're well, right. Oh wow! And the end, the end was fucking, dude. Yeah, it was crazy Such at the end because like the the, the, the rescue mission is supposed to come. The, the The rescue mission gets there and they're like, dude, like Sam two is like to telling the Sam one. He's like, look, man, we have to get out of here, or they're gonna kill us both yeah. and bring in another uh, bring in another clone. So Sam one ends up staying behind because he was gonna die anyway, right? 
and uh, Sam two puts him back into the rover where he was got into the accident, and then gets back to the main thing and gets on an escape pod and goes back to Earth and blows the entire situation up. Yeah, yeah, like. <laughs> Then you find out, like, oh, this this evil corporation was doing this and, you know, putting these clones back oh. out on here and yada, 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 which was awesome. Like, yes, <laughs> it was such a cool ending to that. And it's I mean, there's the twist with the clones. And when you find out it's clones and when you when, you know, when he first finds himself in the rover and just this movie kind of takes those twists and turns. But the I thought the end, like you said, I thought the end was awesome. And I thought the yeah. fact that they sent one of them back to Earth and had him, like you said, just blow the whole damn thing up, you know, by going back to right. Earth and with this whole it's like, oh, this is so cool. Like. Uh, it was such a cool ending and i i was it was unexpected to me i didn't think that was the way that was going to end i thought no not at all i thought they were going to end it with kind of a you know well this just keeps going you know i figured they right. were going to go that route somehow like just kind of keep doing the clone thing and like have it end kind of the way it started sort of thing and then to have it blow up like yeah. that at the end was cool i thought yeah yeah totally and you know the interesting thing um Looking here, the the movie was directed by Duncan Jones. Okay, I don't know who that is. Who was also the story writer. Oh. You know, he's one of the writers. Okay. But Duncan Jones is also the son of David Bowie. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, I guess, in terms no. of, in terms in of uh, talent, genius there. For sure. Talent. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I this, don't want to so, say this was genius, but... This was certainly very, very good for something Damn that was good, man. For something that was low budget like this, and for something that was, I like, I like you. I never even heard of this movie until it was on Netflix. I, yeah, I I had heard of it because Kevin Smith like licked its balls for oh. you know a good five <laughs> minutes on one of the on one of his podcasts. He was like, "This movie Moon with Sam Rockwell is just brilliant." Like he's okay. like, "If you ever get a chance to see it, you need to go see this movie." Huh. Yeah, I yeah. I'd never even heard of it. I I caught it like I said, I caught it on uh on Netflix a while ago and um then forgot what the name of it was completely. Right. But um I remember that when like I said when you mentioned it, I'm like, "Ah," and I looked it up. I'm like, "Oh, that was that movie." Oh yeah, I'll watch that again. That was yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I feel bad cuz I've picked the last two films. So Oh, that's all right. <laughs> I don't care. Whatever. I just so, want to watch it, man. I don't really even care. <laughs> right? All right, so uh, I probably know what you're going to say to this, like you knew what I was going to say for the last one. But yeah. what are you what are you going to give this one? I'm going to say I'm going to say fuck yeah, this movie. I think the only drawback to this is, like I I have said, it could have been a Twilight Zone episode. So there are points in it where even though Sam Rockwell is super engaging, I felt like I, I felt like it might have been there might have been more. They they could have cut the time. It didn't need to be almost two hours. It but, wasn't. It was only 97 minutes. Was it? Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, then then I don't have a complaint at all. Fuck yeah, this movie. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I it too, was I than too. That. No, it was only 97 minutes. All right. Yeah, fuck yeah, this yeah. movie. Yeah, I will totally go fuck yeah to this movie as well. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, so what do you got for us next week? All right. So I have, right, I should say in two weeks. In two weeks. So in two weeks. So I struggled with, do we want to go the horror thriller route or do we want to stick the sci-fi route? So I think we're going to stick the sci-fi route. I'm going to put the horror thriller into the bag for a while. And we're going to watch Her, which is... Okay. Um, with uh, the Joaquin Phoenix? With Joaquin Phoenix, Scarlett Johansson, Amy Adams, 2013. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, have you seen All right, that? excellent. I, this has been... No, 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 no. I started okay, watching it a while back. And fell asleep. No comment on the movie whatsoever. I'm just tired all the time. That's all right. So, <clears throat> but yeah, awesome. Yeah, all right. So, uh, Gets excellent reviews. I hear wonderful well, things Spike... about it. So we'll see. Yeah, it was directed by Spike Jones. I think it. I think so. Yeah. If it would, if it, well, I know it was directed by Spike Jones. I okay. don't know if it won tin, but it was definitely nominated for some stuff. So. All right. Cool. Well, awesome. so it should be well, good. It's been it's been in my queue for a while, and this is a good excuse to watch it. So we're gonna watch right her. on. Excellent. All right. Well, for uh, Netflix and Chill this week, I'm Ruben. I'm Tom. You got it? It's Brittany, bitch. <laughs> Leave Brittany alone. <laughs> <laughs> we got it right this time. <laughs> it's Brittany, bitch. It's Brittany, bitch.